Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're gonna see is the champ functionality that we have in the software ecostructure of Machine Expert Basics. So let's go to the presentation. So basically the champ allows us to jump to um from our actual position in the code to another one. Okay, so if we have uh for example one rung and we execute this jump it allows us to jump or move to another position in our code okay that's basically the idea so saying this um this jump um in order to have it okay there is a specific element for the jump and we need to introduce the percentage l that i believe is for label so this percentage l must have a number Based on this label that we have, it allows us to indicate on the left side on the rung of the rung uh, the where we want to jump. Okay, so basically it's the idea. So I have my rung with the code, and then I execute the jump with a with a specific label. Okay, and that label allows me to go to any position that I want in the code. Additional with this, okay, so in order to avoid code. Okay, we just need to, we can use, it's not mandatory, but we can use this and other program so we can uh, go out from the execution of the rest of the code and go to the other POU. So, how we can implement this? We just put the panel here. So, basically, we just need to go to the programming view, select here the other elements that we have for the ladder, and then select this one. This one over here is the jump, okay? And this one over here is the end of the program in case we want to uh, end the execution of the other code. Imagine that you're making like a uh, conditionals, okay, for example, if and you need to make comparison and then you, in order to avoid the execution of the rest of the code, we just go out from the POU. Okay, so that's basically the idea. So once we added that element, we should be able to see here the label. Here in the label, we just need to assign something, and that something is a percentage L plus a number, as you can see over here. As soon as you put this in the code, you should be see this in red, because it means that um, even if you define it well, this label, uh, there is no indication in your code of, of that level, okay? Uh, so you need to assign that. In order to assign that, in the left part of our run, we should be able to see this run body. If we select over here, we should be able to see these indications, but this one is the one that we want, the percentage L. Here in the percentage L, we should be able to assign the number, okay? So it will link this one with this one, and we this um, error is no longer visible. Okay, so that's the idea. So. What we can do now is to create this line of code. So let me just uh, this way. So basically, I have a percentage L0, okay? That this percentage L0 is going to be linked to this one, 0, and this one is going to be aligned to the L1. It should be over here. Okay, so when I execute this one, my program will jump to this position okay and if i execute this one it will jump to this position but as soon as it jump for example if i execute this in true okay it will jump okay it will go like this to here okay and all this part is not going to be executed okay so if we just Go back. So if I I don't put this in true, okay, and I put this one in true, this part is going to be executed, but then this one will jump to this code, and all this part will no longer be executed. Okay. So if I do this, this part over here will not be executed, okay, unless I um. I remove this part, okay, it's going to be in false, 
okay so it will not jump so as soon as it uh, is executing this part okay this one doesn't do anything execute this it increments and then over here okay it has this end this end will allow me to go out from this period okay and this part will no longer be executable okay so let's go in details of what I want so imagine that I have this one okay if we go to mm, no let's go to the other one so I can show you much better so imagine that you want this one L0 so if I select this in true okay it will jump so this part is not going to be executable this part not this part also okay no but it just jump to this line of the code so it will make the increment and then if i don't use this end over here it will execute this part as i have this end this part is no longer executable okay and I go to the next period. Okay, that is the idea. Okay, so bear with me a second. There we go. So that's the idea. So you will need to replicate this code. Okay, I'm not going to do it from scratch because it's gonna take too much time. So just going to show you how to add the uh, the jump. So here select jump assign the percentage L25 uh, for example and then you create your code and here in this part you need to press percentage L you have this zero but you can click over here and change this and you can see here the L25 is no longer with default okay so that's good so uh, just bear with me uh, there we go so that is the idea of how you can um, use the jump okay but now i'm going to show you the program so if i open the program to, to, to jump so uh da, 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 i press open oh no. jump so, no okay so this is the program and this is the program jump so what i'm going to do is to simulate this so we can see it together so as you can see over here now when it finish uh, and I press run you can see that the percentage mw2 is executing okay it's incrementing okay because this part is not uh it's not being executed okay because this one is in false and it's not calling the label the jump so let me just put this over here so now this part over here is not executed because uh, between this run I have this another program so it will go to the next PU that I have. So if I have another PU over here it will execute that. So if I activate the M0 with linked it to the label 0 over here it will go to the run 4. So this one will stop increasing the value and this one will be automatically increasing. So you can see it has a stop and this one is increasing okay and this one over here is not increasing the percentage nw1 because i have the end of the program over there okay so basically that's the deal of the jump so if i remove this one this one is in stop it's not executed and the percentage nw2 is executed again so if i press this one for the level one it should go to this one that we have over here okay l1 and you can see the percentage nw1 is increasing okay and the rank 4 is in stop okay so that's the idea so imagine that i have the level 1 in true okay and i have this one also the only one that is going to be executable is the percentage nw0 if i'm not wrong so okay you can see even if you activate this level 1 and level 0 okay as the order of execution of the ladder is from left to right and from the top to the bottom okay it will execute this one first okay this one will go to here okay and it will end the program and this part is skipped 
okay so this is this is just an idea how you can implement the different kind of jump that we have in the um in the eco structure machine expert basic for the m221 okay you so saw there's very simple you just need to know where to use the jump use the label and i would probably recommend to use the jump in the same preview so you can clearly see where are you going to jump in the code so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.